Hola, welcome back. Uh, in this session, uh, we are going to discuss special characteristics of the resource assignment problem that allows uh, to use linear programming to really solve uh, an integer programming problem. Uh, an integer programming problem requires a variable to be integer. But in this particular case of the resource assignment problem, even that we don't require the variables to be integer, we obtain integer solution. So we are going to discuss a little bit about that property and we are also going to show that the, when that property doesn't happen, uh, we need to uh, uh, rely on special techniques uh, for MIP, integer programming problem, that will use linear programming but um, in, 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 in a, a larger approach. Let's uh, recall a little bit about the, the RAP problem. So when we define the decision variables of the RAP problem, we define the variable as really as a binary variable. Why? Because the variable uh, of assigning resource R to job J was equal to 1 when uh, we assigned the resource R to job J and 0 otherwise. So this variable is called binary because either it takes a value of 1 or a 0. That's, it can only take two values, so that's why it's called binary variable. And the way that we defined uh, the variable using the Groovy Python API was using the adverse method. And the arguments for this method were the keys uh, um, of the multi-dig um, function that defines the matching scores. So this combination have the resource uh, and um, uh, jobs indices. So we will have one decision variable per matching score. And we just have the name of the variable. And the default value of, of defining uh, variables with the adverse method is the variables to be uh, non-negative and continuous, meaning that the variables were able uh, to take fractional values. So if you remember when we gave the demo, when we solved the problem, surprise, uh, the variables were binary. So we, we assigned Carlos to tester because the uh, assignment variable was equal to one. And also we assigned Joe to the architect job because the assignment variable was equal to one and similar to Monica and for the Java developer job. So even that we didn't ask uh, the Gurobi optimizer to have the variables defined as uh, binary, we just defined them to be continuous, non negative, we were getting the numbers as we wanted. Uh, this happens because this particular uh, problem has a special structure that allows uh, linear programming to directly solve the integer programming problem. And uh, that's why we say that the assignment problem has a perfect formulation because even that we don't ask uh, the variables to be binary, the solution of the linear programming problem give us that special solution. And in a sense, uh, the property can be defined in the following way. It's a little bit technical, but I'm just going to tell you what is the property. If you take all the matrix of the left-hand side of the constraints, all the values of, of, of the decision variables are 0, minus 1, and, and 0. And if you take any submatrix in that uh, matrix that define the constraints, and you take the determinant of, of that matrix, the value of the determinant will be 0, minus 1, and 1. And when you are solving a system of equation, if you have this uh, property of, of having the determinants of all the submatrices uh, of the, right, uh, the left-hand side equal to 1, minus 1, of 0, you always get an integer solution. But that's a very particular structure that the resource assignment problem might have. If we don't have that property, then the problem uh, might not give us integral solutions as we expected. So what we are going to, to, to do now is to make a, a, a change to the, 
to the decision, uh, to, 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 to the structure of the problem. So uh, our problem originally was formulated as a linear programming problem. Why? Because we have uh, variables that are non-negative and continuous, because uh, we have constraints that are linear, and because we have an objective that are linear. And even that we didn't require the variables to be uh, binary, the, the problem, uh, the LP solution, was able to give us these uh, binary solutions. But it is possible that this structure might not happen, and what we are going to do is to add a new constraint to our wrap problem. So um, this new constraint um, is going to be defined as, uh, as follows. Let's assume now that when we assign a resource to a job, we have a fixed cost of assignment. And we are going to symbolize uh, this fixed cost as C R J, meaning that when we assign resource R to job J, it is going to cost us certain amount of, of, of dollars. And the table below, uh, this table will have the fixed cost of assignment. For example, for Carlos, we have, uh, when Carlos is assigned to tester, Java developer, or architect uh, job, it will cost us uh, $1,000. <coughs> when Joe is assigned to uh, tester, Java developer, or architect job, it will cost $2,000. And when Monica is assigned to a tester, Java developer, or architect job, it's going to cost us $3,000. And let's also assume that we have a limited budget. So we cannot uh, spend uh, as many uh, uh, salaries as, 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 as we want. We will have a fixed budget. In, our, in, in this particular example, let's assume that we have a budget of $5,000. So you see that with $5,000, we won't be able to assign a, 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 a everybody this problem because uh, if we assign everybody we have a, a, a cost of this uh, six thousand and our budget is of five thousand so what we are going to do now i am going to give you um, a demo using, using jupyter notebook where we are going to extend the formulation of the linear programming problem and we will consider these new constraints where, where, where we have this cost, fixed cost of assigning uh, a resource to a job, and we have a, a budget. So now let's switch to the uh, Jupyter Notebook demo.